Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for the introduction, Michael. As Michael said, my name is Matthew Brazil, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Hatch. And today, I want to talk to you about self-employment. In 2008 in the UK, there were three and a half million self-employed people. Today, that number is closer to 4.6 million. It's a huge and staggering growth. Now, the Office for National Statistics in the UK, a government department, cited this growth as one of the defining characteristics of the economic recovery in the UK after our most latest uh, financial crash. Because it makes sense to be self-employed. I've been self-employed most of my life. Quite a few people in here are probably working for themselves as well. And it just makes sense. But being self-employed comes with a number of problems. Tax filing is a big one. Last week in the UK, 750,000 people missed their tax filing deadline. That's three quarters of a million people automatically fined £100 each. 75 million out of the pockets of the self-employed in one day. Every day they don't file, another £10 fine. I've personally been fined up to £1,600 for late tax filing. It's the, sc <laughs> it's the scourge of being self-employed. Why? Because I spend so much time on admin. The average self-employed person, 51 days a year on admin. That's 25%. A quarter of your time you're not being productive and earning money. But do you know what? The problems don't stop there. No sick pay, no paternity pay, no paternity pay. Can't get a mortgage. I sold my house just before I started uh, Hatch. And now if I want to get a mortgage, it's impossible because I'm seen as a high credit risk. Yet people that work in my business who are on the payroll, if they can get a mortgage, are they any less credit risk? But the interesting thing here is these are actually just symptoms of a much wider problem because the actual problem is the underlying operating system, a system that was designed decades ago by politicians, bankers, and industry for a world where everyone worked for another business. This is why at Hatch, we're on a mission to solve the problems that the self-employed face, and why I'm very pleased to be here today to, sh to present to you Hatch, the self-employed platform and ecosystem that puts banking and credit scoring at its core. Let's look at Hatch in a bit more detail. So we started by building a smart bank account. The smart bank account covers everything that you'd expect from banking, because banking now has become a utility. When we started with this, we looked, should we build a, a full bank account? Should we spend two years going for a license, put 20 million regulatory capital into the bank to build this massive bank? But what we realized is that because banking has become this utility, that what people do with their bank account is just take it out, look at it, make some transactions, that actually the, the, the solution that we wanted to provide to the self-employed was much wider than that. So to truly innovate on banking, we just made banking a utility, and we're adding many more things to it. So we're adding accounting tools, because of all the problems that the self-employed face, they need many more things in the system. Auto tax filing. So we're connected to every other bank via PSD2. We can automatically pull in all of your transactions into one bank account. And we can automatically detect and understand what should be going against your tax filing and what shouldn't. And with a connection to HMRC in the UK, we can pre-populate your tax form and get that sent in for you. That saves a lot of, a lot of people a lot of money. You know, that 75 million goes back into the self-employed community and goes back into the economy. Community. The self-employed all have common problems, and we want to give them a space where they can all work together, to maybe to find jobs or to find uh, training or whatever it may be. Community is very important. Money management. Saving for tax, putting money away for national insurance. If you're a limited company and you put money away for VAT, which no one does, they actually spend the VAT money and then wait for the bill to come in. Money management's really important, and so we can bucket these things for people and show them where they should be doing the right thing. And then finally, and most importantly, a marketplace. Because the self-employed need many different services and not something that we can provide every single solution for them. At the heart of, of, uh, of Hatch are the people, is the community. But what really brings this to life is the partners by creating this two-sided platform. On the one side, we have the self-employed. In the middle, we actually have Hatch as the technological solution. And then on the other side, the partners. Many people that we've spoken to here in the Netherlands, many different partners and different possibilities, um, where all of the services that they provide, the self-employed need. And the cool thing here is, everybody that is in a big business, let's call it an insurance company, they want to target this market, but they really struggle to do so. 
What comes out of us managing all these interactions fixes the next biggest problem that the, the, the self-employed face, and that is credit scoring. Why can't the self-employed get credit? It's because the data's not being looked at properly. Now, once we build this platform and we've got you know, partners and self-employed on either side and we're mapping all the different interactions, we understand what's coming into the bank accounts and what's going out, we can build something that we call an income quality score. So we can see if you're paid 90 days late, is that your fault and should you be penalized for it? Can we take a look at that other company and map them and understand where their money comes from? Are they, you know, are they a company that normally pays on time? Is it just standard for them to pay 90 days or 60 days? We don't want the self-employed to be penalized. So by mapping all of this data, we can build a brand new credit score specific to the self-employed. With that, we're not building a brand new credit scoring system. We add to the data that already exists out there. And it just brings to, brings to life the, cr the credit bureau data that exists and lets the self-employed get better access to financial services. We also have a very clear revenue model. So one of the reasons we chose not to be a bank is because we realized there's not really a lot of money in retail banking, which feels very odd to say standing here in this fantastic <laughs> auditorium. <laughs> um, but there isn't any money in, uh, in, in retail banking. It's a loss leader to get the, the customers to buy other products. So for us, when we chose to actually partner with another bank um, and do um, agency banking, it allowed us to create a very different model because we can monetize the interactions that happen on our platform and monetize the data. So a credit scoring API. You know, we're already talking to banks that want access to this and they're happy to pay us five to 10 pounds per credit API call. If you think about that across a base of 100, 200, 300,000 customers, there's a fairly healthy revenue stream to come from that. And then it's the intro introduction fees to affiliate partners, insurance, pensions, the list goes on. And again, we've already got a, a number of uh, signed letter of intents with many companies in the UK um, that we're going to be partnering with. Yes, there are competitors in the market. I know there isn't all the banks on, uh, on here that... Uh, uh, so Rabobank's not on here and so forth because it's quite UK-centric. I apologize for that. But yes, they're all competitors in one sense. To us, we actually see them as very much single-issue focus. So the challenger banks in the UK focus on a particular segment. The, ch the traditional banks focus on retail or business banking. But what they're not doing is seeking to address the systemic problem that exists. And that's why we're very different. Because we want to fix the system, not just provide a bank account to people. So rather than see these as competitors, we actually see them as partners in our ecosystem. So what's our go-to-market strategy and why is it so very different? Well, banks have issues that they can focus on, that they can base their marketing and stuff around. Think about all the issues that I've explained that the self-employed have. And every time they're out there looking for how do I file my taxes? Can I get a mortgage? We're going to be everywhere where the self-employed people are so that we're meeting them at their point of need. And what this allows us to do and feeds into our economic model is we can reduce the cost of acquisition. Standard banking says 250 pound to acquire a customer. We're currently doing that for less than two pound at a time. We've got a great team. As Michael said, I've done this before. I built and sold my last business to Salesforce in 2011. I've been in the technology space for 20 years. My co-founder has built a company directly within this gig economy self-employed space. And the rest of our team who are here today, who come to our stand and meet them, they're all very experienced in their different areas including banking. So our progress to date. Partnerships was a key thing at the beginning. If we're not going to be build our own bank, then we need to have a, a partner bank. And we spent a lot of time doing that and found the right challenger bank in the UK. We're still going through regulation to be FCA approved because we need that as well, but that is all in process. And as I said, we have a great team. Our community is coming together. We're adding hundreds of new people to our community every day that are eager to get their hands on Hatch. The Accelerator. We joined Startup Bootcamp, and it has been a fantastic experience. We've had some great help from, from many different mentors, probably too many to mention that we've had conversations with. And most importantly, our product is nearly ready to go live. And in Q2 this year, Hatch will be launching in the UK. And with a bit of luck, towards the end of the year, we'll be here back in the Netherlands and launching a product. We are looking for funding at the moment. Uh, we're looking for 12 months financing to get us to our magic kind of 50,000 users that we want. We have a 750,000 pound round open. And if you come to the stand, we can talk to you about our leap fund around specifically for the, for, for, for the Netherlands. We are Hatch, and we're on a mission to solve the problems that the self-employed face. Thank you.